There it is, we found it. We are Clifford Keith, and we're really excited to be here tonight. Hopefully we'll have a good time. She had a long neck bottle in between her legs, and hanging from her lips was a fresh cigarette. The air was hot and the moon was wet, but she didn't seem to mind. Shades and her hair pulled down. She was breaking every heart in this little town. She could have any man that she wanted around for any length of time. Well, I've never been the kind to have a way with words, but something came inside me when I saw that girl. I wanted her to wreck my world and leave it all behind. And I said, Excuse me, miss. Haven't I seen you here before? No, I didn't mean to scare you. I just had to come and say hi. Oh, thinking you and me ought to just beat this sleeping town. Head off to the east where dreams are found, falling from a midnight sky. Save that for VH1 behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, we'll save that for later. But just, it's like Leonard Skinner. Like it doesn't really mean anything. Yeah, it it's does. Like, it's their gym teacher's name, but they changed it. Uh, yeah, it was their yeah. gym teacher name. You learn something new every yeah. day. Yeah. <laughs> Clifford Keith is a just. It's just a name. It's just the name of the band. It's all of us collectively. It's not one person. Uh, my first name is Cliff, but that doesn't make me Clifford Keith. Luke's not Clifford Keith. Mike's not Clifford I wish Keith. It was. It's just. It's it's a name, you know. It's kind of uh, it's it's very simplistic. We think it's a name that people will remember um, after hearing it a couple times. And so there's nothing behind the Keith. Nothing behind the Keith. No relation to Toby, actually. So nobody's last name. We were we were Keith. hoping to cash in on his royalties, but yeah. we decided not against. <laughs> Kelsey, why don't you start? Sure. I'm Luke. Kelsey Murphy, and I sing backup vocals. Okay. Vocal. I'm uh, Luke Daniel Burton the first. I'm a harmonica <laughs> slash uh, vocalist, I suppose. My name's Cliff. I'm the rhythm guitarist. And singer. Yeah, and singer. I do. Too. I do. Yeah, I do the singing. So modest. This guy. That's true. My name's Corey McNaught, and I play lead guitar, electric acoustic, and uh, sometimes bass. bass. My name's Mike Oswald. I play the drums or the cajon. We, um, we got together... We got together through a long series of very fortunate events, I'd say. <laughs> Super fortunate. Um, they're just being out in the community and being out and playing, being pl playing things like um, Open Mic Night that 3C North has hosted um, has been a phenomenal tool for musicians to get together um, and, and just do what musicians do best, and that's communicate through the art form of music. Like you walk into an open mic and you realize that you have something in common with everybody that played before you, and that thing in common is your, your passion for music. Um, we also, a lot of us went to the same school district, a lot of us are local, um, and we, we knew each other, we knew of each other's talents, and we're just really excited to um, piece that all together and put together a product, and that product is um, this music you're that, you, that to, we you're, too, you're going into that phase you were telling us to you know, stop you at. <laughs> Products and stuff. It's music. It's not a product. When I first... <laughs> it's all right, man. Just relax. I was on a roll, man. Yeah, you were. But you were rolling. When I first... When I first... That was a snowball. Mama says that I'm no good They ain't to love me the way that I should But your sister's crazy, your daddy hates me Brother went and got his gun Mama says that I ain't no man They ain't to love me with all that I am But your sister's crazy, your daddy hates me Brother went and got his gun Brother went and got his gun So, so take, take, so take it, it's all I have Best musical influence. Mm, One, tough, two, three. Johnny Cash. 
Cash and Williams. <laughs> third senior. I, there's so damn many of those. Just say Hank Williams. I can't just say Hank Williams. Hank senior. I'm not a... You know, All right, well, let's do it again. Hey, Hank, uh, um, I'll take this one. The musical influence of the band yeah, comes right. from kind of the, the era that we live in. We live in an era where um, music is... and tech, I mean, music and media is at our fingertips of music. That's why when you hear our stuff... Um, it doesn't really fit into one category. I mean, mm. we'll, we'll we'll start out with kind of a country, on a Lone Star rhythm, but then by the end of it, we've got like a ska, reggae, like little bounce going on at the end. And you know, we all come from different backgrounds in music. Mike comes from a metal background. Kelsey's been classically trained in theater, and and uh, and Corey, what is your background? I used to play in a reggae band. Played, yeah, I played know. bass, and I used to uh, used to play funk and. So and then all of that just kind of puts us in this like little melting pot of sound and, and influence and and um, that's where we get our sound from. We just and we, the, when we write music, we don't really try and do anything. I mean, we're just we just want to write good music and write fun music. And sometimes it comes out sounding a little punk. Sometimes it comes out sounding a little country. Sometimes it comes out. And just... I'm looking forward to where this is going to go yeah. more than yeah. where it's gone before. Cause yeah. We're going to boldly go. <laughs> I think so, man. I yeah, we, so um, I, you know, we get a lot of great feedback from our live shows and from our originals and, and kind of who we are as a band. People are, are really catching on and starting to really appreciate that. So we're, um, we're looking forward to seeing you know, yeah. where the public takes us is, is yeah. essentially what it's going to boil down to. Where we take where, ourselves as well. Yeah, yeah, where I mean, we take us. We're still right. kind of you know, relatively fresh, and we're having so much fun with it now. Just imagine when we get more, even more comfortable with each other than we already are yeah. and just progress from that point. Hey, sing Chantilly Lace <laughs> like Christopher Walken. You know, that Chantilly Lace had a pretty No, face. do Pulp Fiction. Do Pulp Fiction. Yeah. Sing to it. Swatch I want to hear you. It was on your daddy's wrist when you were shot down over Hanoi. He was captured and taken to a Vietnamese prison camp. <laughs> it, it, he knew if the gooks ever found the watch, it would confiscate it, take so it away. It. <laughs> well, your dad looked at it, the watch. It was your birthright. He <laughs> damned if any slopes go with the greasy yellow hands of his boy's birthright. So he hid it. One place he knew he could hide something, his ass. For five long years, he wore this watch. His ass. Died of dysentery, give me the watch. I hid this uncomfortable hunk of metal, my ass, for two years. After seven years, I was sent home to my family. Now, little man. <laughs> I give you the watch. Ding, ding. <laughs>